Hello dear student welcome to Ramanujam School of Studies in this series we will discuss about the school physics and this is the basic concept of physics and this is for the class 11th so in this uh, series we already discussed the concept of rest and motion and in this particular lecture we will discuss about the motion in a plane whose concept is discussed earlier and today we will discuss about the projectile motion numericals so uh, with the help of some numerical we enhance our concept so the first uh, question is if a projectile is projected projectile is any body anything which is projected in the effect of gravity is projected at an angle 30 degree from horizontal so we have suppose this is the horizontal line and here we projected an projectile with angle 30 degree so this is u okay and u here u is given is equal to 98 meter per second so here we write 98 meter per second and angle of projection that is theta with the horizontal it is given that this is 30 degree okay now here we have to find the time to reach at maximum height okay so what is the maximum height when it is projected at the time of maximum height suppose this the uh, uh, the uh, y component of velocity is instantaneously zero so for this we can write vy is equal to uy plus g into t right g into t so at the at the point of maximum height see here uh, listen at the point of maximum height the y component of the velocity instantaneously and momentarily come to rest so here vy is equal to zero and we can write uy is equal to nothing that is uy is equal to u sine theta because this is the u and this is angle theta and it makes an vertical a component with y axis suppose this is y axis u sine theta so this is u sine theta minus y minus because acceleration due to gravity is always downwards and as per the convention we take downward as negative so minus g into t so at the time of uh, at the point of maximum height we can write t is equal to u sine theta over g so we have the value of u that is u is 98 meter per second so here we uh, write 98 meter per second and sine theta sine 30 degree as we know that this is equal to root uh, sin 30 degree is 1 over 2 right divide by g is here we take the value of g is 9.8 meter per second square so 9.8 so here we multiply it by 10 so 98 98 is cancelled out so this is 5 second okay now after 5 second it is at the maximum height see here we at this point suppose this is the maximum point a here at the time of five, fifth second y component of velocity is zero that is it is momentarily stopped it is momentarily zero and here we have u component also and u component is u x and we can write u x is u cos theta since there is no acceleration along the x axis so uh, u x is always constant so we get here value of t that is five second now here we have to find uh, we have to uh, calculate the maximum height b part and maximum height we can write uh, y is equal to see here y is equal equal to u y t okay minus half g t square here we already take the minus sign half into g t square so here for maximum height at the t is equal to 5 second we can write u y and u y is uh, 9.8 uh, u sin theta so sin theta is 1 by 2 okay so here we write the values and minus half into the value of g is again 9.8 divided by 2 and t square is 5 square and see here this is uh, u into t and the value of t is 5 seconds so here we have to write not half that is 5 so after calculation we can write this is equal to 10 uh, this is equal to 120 2.5 meter okay now here we can reduce the formula and we can apply directly the uh, question with the use of formula here u y uh, u y into t can be written as u sine theta into the value of t is at the maximum height is u sine theta over g so here we write u sine theta over z okay 
minus half into g into t square and t square is here we calculate that at the maximum height u square sine square theta over g so we can write u square sine square theta over uh, this is g square so here we write g square so g square g, g square and g is cancel out and we have u square sine square theta divided by g minus half of u square sine square theta by g so we can write here u square sine square theta over this is 2g so if we put value directly in this formula we can write h maximum h maximum that is vertical distance is equal to u square sine square theta so u is here 98 so here we put the value of 98 square into sine square theta sine uh, 30 degrees half so this is 1 over half and 2g so here we write 2 into the value of g is 9.8 so if we calculate this value we again get 122.5 meter right so either we use the concept behind the question or we use the directly uh, we use directly formula for evaluating the maximum height and similarly we have to write uh, find out here in uh, c part that is time of flight and what what is the time of flight so here time of flight is nothing that is time of flight is a twice of time to get it maximum height or here if we use the uh, formula uh, if we use the concept for evaluating the time of flight so we can write at the point of time of flight so it is either t is equal to 0 in the horizontal and the um, uh, at the time is t equal to 0 the vertical distance is 0 and after time of flight suppose this is t uh, suppose this is here at the time after time of flight that is t this uh, uh, coordinate of y coordinate is again 0 so here from here if we put the value is equal to 0 so we get time of flight this part is 0 so we can write 0 is equal to u y that is we can write u sin theta into t minus half g t square so from here we can write here we can write u sin theta see here u sin theta into t minus half g t square this is 0 when 0 when uh, the y coordinate is 0 so here we take t as common so you can we can write u sin theta minus half into g into t is equal to 0 right so either t is equal to 0 or either t is equal to uh, we can write 2 u sin theta over z okay into uh, 2 u sin theta over g see here this is the projectile case and this is the t is equal to 0 and this is t is equal to time of flight that is t so from here we can calculate the value of time of flight and we put here the value of uh, u and sin theta so u 2 into u is 98 and sin 30 is here theta is equal to 30 degrees so here we put two, uh, 1 by 2 and z is equal to 9.8 meter per second square and when we calculate it it is 10 second now see here previous the uh, time of flight when it comes to at the maximum point that is a this is 5 seconds so and time when it comes to the y coordinate is equal to 0 so 0 uh, initial point to final point this is 10 seconds so here we see that uh, the time of flight is equal to twice of time to get reach at the maximum height so from here we can also deduce that if t is the time of flight to get the maximum height so total time of flight is equal to 2 u so uh, from here from here we directly find out the value of time of flight so here we use both the concept behind the time of flight and the time of flight at the maximum height now this is the last portion is the horizontal range and horizontal range is what horizontal range is the x coordinate that is this one x coordinate that is in the time of flight that is 2u uh, that is 2t or time of flight t how uh, much distance is covered by the projectile motion so x is equal to for horizontal motor motion ux into time of flight because ux is equal to uh, ux is equal to u cos theta into t right so uh, y ux into t and uh, not acceleration because acceleration due to gravity in x direction is always zero so from here u is equal to 98 into cos 30 degree is this is 1 by to the cost 30 degree is root 3 by 2 and time of flight here calculate uh, as 10 seconds so here we put the value of 10 and after it we calculate it is equal to 4, 490 root 3 
meter right so uh, this is very important question and in this question we calculate and we will discuss the theory part also time to reach maximum height that is time to reach at maximum height the concept behind this is that at the maximum height vy momentarily is equal to zero right and the max uh, the second portion is the maximum height so at the maximum height here again we uh, write y is equal to u by t and uh, at the maximum height we deduce the formula that is u square sin square theta divided by 2z and we put the value of all the necessary thing time of flight time of flight is the uh, total time to uh, cover the projectile from same y coordinate that, that is 0 to 0 so this is the time of flight and horizontal range as we know that uh, uh, total uh, u x cos theta into t that is time of flight so see here in horizontal range and in horizontal motion we always take a x is equal to 0 so this is very important so this is very important question and you should go through this question very clearly now we will move second question a cricket uh, a cricketer throw a ball with a velocity 60 meter per second at an angle 60 degrees so um, this is projectile motion and cricketer throw a ball at an angle 60 degrees so here we write 60 degree right and then he runs to catch the same ball and from here cricketer runs to to catch the same uh, same ball so what is the uh, uh, what is the um, scenario of this question that if he catch then the time of flight uh, after the time of flight ball is here and the position of cricketer is also here so in the time of flight the cricketer also moves at a distance that is equal to range right so here we have to equate both uh, uh, both position vector that is position vector of which one that is ball and project, uh, position vector of cricketer so here the concept behind this question is clear now he runs to catch the same ball okay what should be his minimum velocity so that he may catch the ball before it is strike the ground so suppose uh, speed of minimum speed of um, uh, cricketer is suppose v right so v into time of flight suppose this is t is equal to this is equal to range right and v into time of flight is to use sine theta here yeah, we directly use formula to use sine theta over g this is the time of flight and this time of flight is applicable to the cricketer because in this time of flight cricketer runs to catch the ball and the range is we have the formula the range is u square sine square theta divided by 2 so here we can write u square sine square u square sine 2 theta over z okay now we have the value of u and what is the value of u that is 60 meter per second so here we see that u square and u square is cancel out okay and g and g is also cancel out so from here we can uh, write 2 into uh, v into 2 uh, 2 into sine theta is equal to uh, sine 2 theta is 2 into sine theta into cos theta right now here we also see that cos theta sine theta and sine theta is cancel out and 2 and 2 is cancel out so all the thing is cancel out and remaining is only cos theta so v is equal to cos theta and this is equal to root 3 over 2 okay now the speed of and here see this is uh, 2 u 2 sin theta and here u and u is cancel out and we have, we have one u is already there so this is u cos theta and the speed is root 3 by 2 and u and the value of u is 60 meter per second and as we know the cos 60 degree the value of cos 60 degree is not 1 by uh, this is 1 by 2 so v is equal to 30 meter per second so cricketer runs with a speed of 30 meter per second in order to catch the same ball okay so here the main concept is position vector after time of flight of the ball and the cricketer is the same so this is the relation between the position vector and here it should be kept in mind the formula should be uh, very clear and uh, here we use the cos theta and sin theta sometimes they may uh, sometimes it create confusion so it is very careful to write down all the step very neat and clean and very carefully now next question is a man can throw a ball to a maximum horizontal range now 
then what should be the maximum vertical distance up to which he can throw the ball assuming the ball to have the same initial velocity so uh, man can throw a ball up to a maximum horizontal length is 100 meter so suppose this is projectile horizontal range and this is the horizontal range yeah, with an angle if it's an angle theta and this is 100 degree okay 100 meter so maximum range range is equal to how much the range is defined as and the formula of horizontal range is u square sine square theta u square sine 2 theta divided by g this is the formula of range as we discussed in the earlier classes now this range is maximum when when sine theta as we know that sine theta sine 2 theta the value of sine 2 theta is minus 1 2 plus 1 so range will be maximum only when sine 2 theta is equal to 1 okay it means that this is equal to 90 degree so 2 theta is equal to 90 degree so theta must be equal to 45 degree so range is equal to okay range is equal to u square sine 90 degree is equal to 1 divided by z so maximum range is u square over z so here we have the value of range is 100 okay and uh, g is uh, multiplied by g this is equal to u square so we get the value of u and this is equal to under root 100 z okay so this can be written as 10 under root g this is the value of initial velocity now the question is the what should be the maximum vertical distance so vertical distance for vertical motion if we take this uh, uh, it, if it take uh, if uh, um, uh, ball throw with an angle 90 degree we get the maximum vertical distance is so here we can write uh, for vertical motion at angle 90 degree we can write uh, y square is equal to u square right uh, y is equal to so here we can write v square at the maximum distance uh, the velocity at uh, maximum height is momentarily zero that is vy is equal to zero so we can write v square is equal to u square minus 2g into h where h is the maximum height so this part vy at the maximum height is equal to zero so from here we can write h is equal to u square over 2z and we have the value of u is here we calculate u square is equal to 100g so here we put the value of 100g this is the u square over 2g and here we see that g and g is cancel out so height maximum is 50 meter so this is very easy question but but here we have to apply the mind and the concept behind the question okay if you if you able to learn the concept you will easily solve the question now we move to the next question and this question is for your homework two bullets are fired simultaneously from the level in the horizontal direction okay this is first bullet and second bullet two bullets are fired the speed of one bullet is v1 suppose this is v1 and this is given as 196 meter per second and other is v2 this is equal to 98 meter per second it means v1 is equal to twice of v2 okay now which one fall the first in the ground so uh, simultaneously from the same level in the horizontal direction so suppose this is the same level okay from here and this is the ground so if we move the bullet uh, move like this and this move like this and this move, bullet move like this now it says that how much time to take to both bullet to come to the ground so we have to find off time one and time two and you have to find out the relation between time one and time two so here this is the scenario of question now the hint behind this is, is this question is acceleration due to gravity along x axis is equal to zero okay and what is the second behind uh, what is the second hint is acceleration due to gravity along y axis is minus g and this is the same height suppose this is h okay so for vertical motion we can write minus of h because the displacement of the both bullet is minus of h because the level is same this is equal to u y into t as we know that uh, the, uh, the equation for height is u y t minus half g t square 
and what is the ui here the uh, ui is equal to zero why zero because this is v is v1 and v is thrown horizontally so uh, y component of this velocity is equal to zero minus half gt square and from here we stop and you have to find the values of t1 and t2 and you see that there is a magic between t1 and t2 whatever be the velocity of v1 and v2 they will they will drop at the same level at the time which is t1 and t2 and this t1 and t2 is this is your homework what is this okay uh, we will stop here uh, this uh, this class and uh, if you like this video then you will share like and subscribe uh, my video okay and uh, have a good day jai hind